All right, boys and girls, we finally got it, right? Our class got buffed a lot. So this video is just going to be going over the changes and what to do from last time, okay? And mo mostly just how to change your build. The first thing that we're going to go into is our basic build, and I'll explain why. Um, obviously, you have some options now because you, you can win with multiple ways. But for me personally, this is going to be my baseline setup. I'm taking Isolated Prey, and I'm taking this mostly for the Ivy, for the uh, extra 10% damage. Taking Imprint, which gives your Chaos damage 10% uh, buff. Every school is Chaos, right? So you throw Glaive to uh, put the debuff on, and uh, I Beam, you get an extra 20% extra damage on Chaos abilities. I Beam. Uh, even your fucking your teammates get this too. So this by itself is is like hugely powerful. Darkness also got buffed baseline, but I mean we just died through it more anyways. So essentially auto dark got nerfed, right? Um, they did lower unbound a bit from 600% to five. So I'm actually going more towards uh, um, more towards Trail of Rune. Now, if I'm gonna play like DHCK, that's setting up, you know, once a minute with a big go, I'm I'm gonna play unbound, even with 500%. As such, uh, right now, comp wise, so DH Warrior, my favorite comp. Play DH Warrior, get rating, right? If not, DHDK, and then if not, you have essentially any other class you can work with right now. DH Death Row is really good. Um, I don't think that there is a class that you can play with right now and not succeed, but the ones that will be easiest and best is going to be Warrior and DK. Healer-wise, Arju to Arsham. And anyway, so let's, let's get back to the build. Um, so this is, a lot of this has two effects with I-beams, right? Um, including this. So my Throw Glaive is going to put two debuffs on now, right? And the reason I'm doing all this is because it all synergizes very well, right? So, this gives increased I beam damage, which is uh, already getting buffed with isolated and with imprint. So I have I have a large number of modifiers into uh, into I beam, and playing it with Dark Glare Medallion is you know, it's actually like really troll. It's so good. So I'm doing that. I still take Soul Rending. Um, there's a lot of times the nether walks better. Damage is really high right now, so. So, again, there's multiple ways you can do now, but this is kind of my preferred setup, right? So, rotation-wise, the first thing that I look to, and I call it to my teammates, is putting up debuffs, right? So, other than that, everything else stays more or less the same, right? I'm going to assume that uh, you all watch your previous videos and are familiar with it, so I won't go over the same thing twice. But, in summary, this is your build. Your conduits more or less stay the same, except for the new addition. Uh, in my case, I picked the Serrated Glaive to increase eye beam damage. Talent-wise, we are looking very good. There's times when, if you're not playing a, with a warrior class like Immortal Strike, you're going to need to probably drop a, either Isolate or Chaotic Imprint. I usually drop Chaotic Imprint because it only gives a a buff to me usually it's kind of RNG for the buff it gives to other magic damage and isolated prey is well all damage so anyways uh, thanks for watching be sure to tune in I'll start screaming again more often and yeah have fun uh, have fun crushing an arena <laughs>